Oh, it's more modern than I thought. Hmm. There's an elevator up ahead. Let's go and take a look. Okay, that's not what I expected. Oh, there's more floors! I thought we were going straight to the top. <laughs> I see you, camp. Looks like a freight elevator to me. They must have been using it to transport equipment and stuff. I think it's out of action at the moment. Out of action. That's the first time I hear a sentence like that about elevators. State of emergency in effect. Administrative sector currently off limits. Looks like the elevator is out of action. He must well. No, have you been here before? I couldn't be sure until we actually got inside, but I have. The professor brought me and Maya here to see Lily. To see me? I don't remember anything about this place. Twelve years ago, you were asleep in the lab at the top of the tower. Yeah. Noel, is there a way to get to the top without taking the elevator? I have a feeling there's a separate freight elevator on this floor. We should be able to get it moving from the monitor room. Got it. Let's go check it out. It isn't working. Look, you two! The control room's on the top floor! That must be where Elaine's heading! Hmm... Looks like there's another monitor room on the third floor. If we take the elevator from up there, we should be able to reach the top of the tower. And the freight elevator will get us as far as the third floor, right? It's locked down at the moment, but I don't think it's broken. Right! There must be some way to deactivate the lock around here! First things first! Let's get the freight elevator up and running! Hmm. Some kind of drone control device? Whatever it is, it's clearly broken. Not to me. Professor, the elevator's out of action. Hmm, perhaps Sonya took control of the tower. What about the freight elevator? Maya's still on the third floor. We need to reach her as soon as we can. We're locked out of the system but the security tag might just do the trick. Wait here. Be careful, the place is crawling with drones. Uh, 
I'll stay here and see if I can figure out a way to get the elevator running. Wish me luck. <laughs> he was going stealth mode? Well, <laughs> it's confident now. I should be able to get the freight elevator up and running with this security tag. I just need to make sure the drones don't spot me before I get there. That was the professor's memory from 12 years ago. He and Irie were trying to make it to the top of the tower to stop my mom. See anything useful? Yeah. The tag they used to activate the freight elevator 12 years ago was in the room next door. It was? But the professor took it into the hall. We'll have to look elsewhere. I don't get it. If the professor managed to activate the freight elevator back then, why isn't it still up and running? Hal, what are you thinking? Uh, <sighs> Come on. Let's search the hall, too. Warning. Structural instability detected. Brace for strong tremors. Whoa! I didn't even feel anything. Is it over? Is this the professor's lab coat? It probably fell down during the tremor earlier. It must be pretty ancient. Hal, look! That tremor earlier must have dislodged it! Yeah, it was probably caught on a branch. I wonder whose blood it is. <laughs> oh, Hal. Should head back to safety. Do I do something? Was that a gunshot just now? Professor! Are you okay? I don't know. <laughs> your leg. Use your belt to stop the bleeding. I'll be fine. But I'm afraid I'll slow you down. Irie, go and stop Sonya. I'll be right behind you. No. Professor, you stay here. I'll deal with Sonya on my own. So the professor got hit, and Irie had to leave him behind. If I can stop the professor getting injured, I might be able to change the present. Oh, okay. That's what I was thinking. I just need to make sure the drones don't spot me before I get there. The issue here is that why are we changing this course of actions? Cause it will have some consequences to it, like... It's pretty sudden.
Okay, time to head up. Yeah, like he would be the one meeting Sonia instead of I uh, really that we saw in the memory already. The clock's ticking. Still, Maya and Lily are on the third floor. I can't leave them there. Hmm. The blood on the floor is gone. The professor must have made it further up. I guess the freight elevator is back online too. Yeah, but that's just playing with fire. Like the whole game is. <laughs> if it's the inconsistency or... Like with time traveling, you need to be really smart about it. This is only halfway to me. It's up and running. All it took was making sure the professor made it to the freight elevator safely. Nice. Now we can make it further up. Come on! Let's get going already! I'll go to the second floor, actually. Wait. We're supposed to be taking the main elevator from the third floor. Let's head straight there. Alright. What the hell? Shoot! We've stopped! Look up above. Those branches are in the way. Are you trying to move it? If we don't clear the way up, we're stuck here. Right. Let's see what we can find. Look at these containment cylinders. I'm guessing they were doing some kind of botanical research here. Look! Hmm. There's no rubble around the tree. It must have reacted to the contamination inside the tower. Again? Is it over? When I heard all that stuff raining down from above, I thought we were gonna get squished! Look, some of the rubble got lodged in the branches. Oh. It's a good thing we were by the tree. I'll take a look around. See if I can't find another way up. Noel, you stay here. You should stick close to the tree, just in case there's another tremor. But... Don't worry, I'll make sure Hal's on his best behavior. Keep watch over the elevator while we're gone, okay? Hmm... Got it. I want to search the whole floor. But there's no way through. What should I do? Oh, come on. <laughs> the rubble's blocking off the walkway! If only this tree was a bit bigger. It might have kept the way clear. This tree doesn't look like it's been affected, does it? Probably because the cover's still sealed. We need to clear a path through the rubble somehow. Let's try and figure something out. Between 650 and 750. Okay. What is this place? Some kind of botanical lab? Let's see. I'm guessing this belonged to one of the researchers. It's definitely seen better days. I don't think it's getting any signal either. It looks like I can use it to access the past. Work! Hmm? Seems like particle concentration is rising. 
I've seen reports of this species growing abnormally in the presence of ion particles. I'd better check the protective cover, just to be on the safe side. If the cylinder got damaged and the cover was open, something might happen to the plant inside. Botanical containment cylinder status. Internal temperature, humidity, and voltage at appropriate levels. Please adjust parameters before exposing the specimen to aid acclimatization. If memory serves, to check the status of the cover, I just need to... Click, click, click. Initiating botanical containment cylinder release. Damn it! That was the open button I pressed. <laughs> Risk of accident after release if voltage is maintained at current levels. Difference in internal cylinder temperature and external conditions too great. Risk of soil inundation after release if humidity is maintained at current levels. Warning, current parameters unsuitable for specimen exposure. Phew, that was a close call. Who knows how the plant might react once the cover's released. Another ion particle sensitive plant? The route ahead's blocked with rubble. But maybe if I can force the plant to grow, it might clear the way for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Let's try and figure out how to release the cover on the containment cylinder. Botanical can inch please if me That should be correct initiating botanical containment cylinder release Device voltage normal Temperature setting appropriate Moisture levels appropriate Release conditions met. Opening botanical cylinder. I wonder if that's cleared the walkway. Do you need to ask? <laughs> <laughs> 